Do you swoon when you hear about men in books who are handsome, attentive, and willing to move heaven and earth for the woman they love? Then you might want to sit down because that's what we're talking about in this video. Hi, my name's B. Welcome to my channel, Mama Needs to Read Romance, because nobody in a book like this is going to pass stomach flu all around my house. I love a sweet hero in a romance novel. I eat it up. Give me a cinnamon roll hero any day and I am done for. I've seen this video done by some of my favorite booktubers before and I wanted to do it too. I've got some of my own books that I haven't heard mentioned yet and I just could not resist. First, I'm gonna talk about the book that I actually brought with me today. This is the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. I am so in love with this guy right here, Jason. Sloan is a widow. She is still getting over the death of her husband. One day, a dog jumps through her ceiling of her car while she's stopped in traffic and it turns out that this dog belongs to this gentleman right here, Jason. Well, he is a very, very famous musician and he is on tour so he didn't realize that someone he had trusted to watch his dog did not do a good job at all. They start texting thanks to the number on the dog's collar and texts become phone calls, phone calls become face to face, it is steamy, there is chemistry everywhere. He is one of the sweetest men I have ever met. I that I've ever met in a book. <laughs> I love him so much. He knows her coffee order. He is willing to help hold her hair and even wash it after she throws up. He is there when she's dealing with the grief over the loss of her husband. He's fixing her sink. He does it all. He is not willing to push her one centimeter past where she's comfortable. He says that you're worth the wait. There's a lot of cuddling, a lot of snuggling. There's nose nuzzling. It just gets me so many feels. I feel like this book or a special Especially Jason is the equivalent of the warmest, coziest, most wonderful sweater you've ever owned. I love this book so much. I'm about a third through, but I'm loving this and I know I'm gonna love it till the very end. I'm just so excited about this book. Let's talk fantasy romance for a moment. Nick Riley in Parallel and Intersect. This is a duet by Elle or Elizabeth O'Rourke. I've seen her go by both. Nick is absolutely head over heels for Quinn. And even though Quinn has, I don't wanna give away too much, Quinn has some very strange, strange stories about herself and things that she knows and ways that she behaves. She is very unusual usual, but Nick is willing to consistently suspend all belief and trust her no matter what. He's protective of her from the get-go, and I fell for this swimmer slash neurosurgeon, and I think you will too. I gotta mention a historical romance, and of course I'm legally obligated to mention Lisa Kleypas. Just kidding. <laughs> Hello Stranger from the Ravenels. Ethan Ransom is maybe one of my favorite historical romance guys of all time. He probably is. He is desperately in love with Dr. Garrett Gibson. And this is in the 1800s, but he absolutely loves her bravery, her strength, her intelligence, and he does not want to encroach on that at all. Whereas most men, they're intimidated by her. They don't want to see her succeed. They would never dream of dating a doctor or they'd want to change her. Ethan absolutely supports that she she wants to do self-defense. She wants to be a doctor. He wants that dream for her as well. He wants to protect her and love her, but let her be who she is. And I love that. And the uh, Irish accent doesn't hurt either. If you listen to it on Audible, Mary Jane Wells does an excellent job. So I have another fantasy romance for you. This is a novella called In the Darkest Midnight. In the Darkest Midnight takes place during the winter holidays over the course of many years. And we have a young girl who has a purple birthmark over half of her face and down into her neck and her upper chest. And she's ostracized by her society for the most part. But Radimar Vellis, he is a knight. He comes to train her older brother how to fight and they fall in love. It is beautifully written. I felt like I could see the snowflakes falling. I mean, it was very old school, like Robin Hood-esque because they're having battles for the crowds and it was just gorgeous. And Radimar loves her so much and so quietly at first because he's a little older than her at first, but time passes and then it becomes appropriate. Um, but because initially I was like, oh, she's 15, please stay away. <laughs> But then it becomes appropriate over years and you just see the, the fondness grow and develop. He never, 
ever makes her feel badly for her birthmark, which most of people, most people are willing to do. And I just loved how he never made her feel less than, and he just worships her from minute one. But it's, it's not just insta love. Like you feel, it feels real. It was so good. It was almost too short. And now let's jump into Highlander, shall we? I've got a book for you called Seduced by a Highlander with Tristan McGregor. He is the most hot guy you can possibly think of in a kilt. He's got longish auburn hair. He is a ladies man. The women throw themselves at him literally everywhere he goes. And yes, he definitely has fun with the ladies because he's feeling a little unmoored. He holds himself responsible for something really bad that happened when he was a kid. And now what he's trying to do is make it right. It's really a Romeo and Juliet type situation. There's another family that feuded with his family over something that happened when he was a boy. And the chief of the other clan that was fighting wound up dying and Tristan holds himself responsible. Well, that family is now not doing very well. And Tristan decides to take it upon himself to save this family and let the girl of the family who he is desperately in love with know that he is willing to do whatever it takes to save them and prove his love for her. There is some amazing chemistry. It is super steamy. Although I will tell you the things that Isabel's brothers do to Tristan once he gets to their home, it's verges on like home alone hilarity. As in like when Kevin is messing with the thieves that come in, it's way over the top painful because they really hate Tristan McGregor. <laughs> So he has a lot to prove and he goes through a lot for this woman, but he turns out to be a knight in shining armor in the end. Paula Quinn, the author of this book, actually in an interview I saw admitted to having a crush on her own character and it was this guy. <laughs> you may have heard me mention this one, Seatmate by Cara Bastone. I enjoyed this so much. It's part of the Loveline series. It's part of Audible Originals and it's Audible Plus, so it's free if you have an Audible subscription. It's a lot of fun because there's a whole cast narrating, but Sam Champion, that's the name of our hero, he is gorgeous. He's got a shock of purple hair, which you'll find out why if you listen to the book. This book takes place in real time. He falls for this girl immediately and you absolutely believe it. It does not feel contrived at all. It's not just insta love with no explanation. They really start to build up their love over the six hours of this book, but they start talking on a bus ride and then it winds up that they have all these madcap shenanigans while he is doing whatever he can, moving heaven and earth to try to get her to her appointment on time. It was fun it was sweet. It was a great meet cute type book. I really enjoyed it and I think you will too. This is another Abby Jimenez. I couldn't help it. I read Part of Your World over the summer. It was her brand new book. Daniel Grant. I fell for this guy so hard. He's got some tattoos, which is normally not my thing. He's got a beard, which is also normally not my thing, but the way it's written, I was like, okay, this is my thing now. <laughs> He is gorgeous. He's a small town mayor, Mr. Fix-It, always helping everyone. Like if someone needs help taking care of a goat, he will take care of the goat. He helps older an older gentleman who's alone with his medicine. This guy does it all. And when a doctor winds up in the small town and they start a little love affair, he is willing to give up everything to be with her. Even though she has a lot going on, he, and so does he, but he's always willing to put all of his own needs his desires and his feelings on the back burner to take care of her and whatever she needs. I mean, he is just the picture of a cinnamon roll, golden retriever, puppy dog type guy. And he just caught my heart. I loved it. Got another rom-com for you. I've talked about this one in the past, the seat filler. It's celebrity romance, Noah Douglas. Even though he is an A-list actor, he is also the sweetest guy on the planet. We have a girl who's afraid of kissing and he is more than happy to help her get over that fear. Anytime she has any anxiety about anything, he is there with a back rub and some puppy dog eyes. He's always there for her, always willing to do anything that she needs for him to do. So those were my main offerings for now. You better believe I'm gonna do another video just like this again because I can't help myself. I'm always looking for these types of heroes. If you have any interest in reading these or you have, let me know in the comments below if you know of any other books with some good cinnamon roll heroes. So let me know because I'm always on the lookout for another one. I hope that you're doing well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Until next time, take care and bye.